Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast. Me, myself, Wien Connor and today is Saturday the 22nd of August and we have 3pm 3, 3 kickoffs this afternoon. The first one coming at Ibrox it is Rangers versus Kilmarnock. Steven Gerrard versus Alex Dyer. Um, Rangers have a lot to prove this afternoon at home after the disappoint after the disappointing performance last Sunday versus Livingston at the Tony Macaroni Arena. Now Livingston gave us a good game and Livingston were the better side throughout the game and Rangers had chances that they should have put away especially with Murray Loss and Ryan Kent's chances and Borna Barisic's free kick in the second half um, and Livingston also had their own chances um, Rangers were absolutely diabolical last week and they have and to be honest me being a Rangers fan and I'm trying to not be biased in a, in a non-biased way Rangers this afternoon versus Kilmarnock especially at home need to show Stephen Gerrard and the supporters of what the team is capable of doing this season and showing Celtic that we're not going to back down this season and that we're going to give them a tough challenge whether it's whether who wins the league, whether it's Celtic that wins the league or whether we win the league, at the end of the day, this is a big season for Rangers to stop Celtic from winning 10 in a row and to get the bragging rights of Glasgow once again since the first time since 2011, the season before we went into the third division. Um, this afternoon, it's a big game. I don't know if Alan McGregor's back from injury yet. Um, the last match we started John McLaughlin. John McLaughlin is a good player. He's a Scotland international. Um, former Hearts former Hearts goalkeeper and Sunderland. Um, Rangers just got him on a free transfer from Sunderland, and yeah, he's started a few a few games lately. As I heard the rumor about. Alan McGregor being injured. Um, I think it'll be a 4 2 3 1 this afternoon with Tavernier and Barisic on the right and the left. McLaughlin and Gold again um, with Hollanda and Goldson playing both centre back. It will be Kent on the left and hopefully if Aribo's back, Aribo on the right with Ryan Jack and Arfield in the middle then we will have Alfredo Morelos playing up front this afternoon hopefully alongside Kimar Roof that's what I would like to see the two of them play this afternoon up front together Kimar Roof and Alfredo Morelos see what we can get at Ibrox against Kilmarnock um, Kilmarnock started off the season quite well last weekend they were very good against St Johnston um, especially at Rugby Park St Johnston Kilmarnock had the whole game the fir- that first half of the game second half they were absolutely diabolical their defence was absolutely shocking um, Eamon Brophy wasn't playing the first half last, e- uh, last week against St Johnston um, and I've heard the rumour this week that Yusuf Malumbu has been training with Kilmarnock and might be getting a new contract at Kilmarnock again, depending on how fit he is, according to Alex Dyer. Um, this afternoon, between Rangers and Kilmarnock, I think it will be Rangers 3, Kilmarnock now. Um, the second match is coming from Paisley. It's quite a big game between the two low, the two low sides of the table. It is St Mirren versus Ross County. The Dingwall team travelled down to Paisley and they faced Jim Goodwin's side this afternoon. Now Jim Goodwin 
has signed a few good players this season for St Mirren and on the likes of Joe Shaughnessy, Lee Hodson, Jack Arnick that used to play at Rangers, um, have still got Jonathan Abika and they played well against Hamilton last week at New Douglas Park um, and their chairman's ambition this season is to get a top six finish this and uh, against Ross County that I think they'll finish in the bottom six they're a good side but I don't think they'll be relegated um, that, that'll be a tough game this afternoon I think it'll be either a draw or 1-0 to St Mirren and the last but not least comes from Fur Park it's a big game of the day it's Motherwell versus Hamilton Academical the Lanarkshire Derby and this afternoon Motherwell haven't nearly started the season well Hamilton haven't started the season well it's a, it's every time the two sides play against each other it's a big game it's a, it's a big challenge for the two sides they they bring atmosphere, they bring they bring creativity. It's a fantastic match, and I think it's even though with fans not being able to get into the stadiums just now due to the COVID nineteen situation, I think that it will be a good it'll be a close match at Fur Park this afternoon for Stephen Robinson's Steel Men and Brian Rice's Hamilton Academical Hamilton have lost a few of their key players from last season and the likes of Mikel Muller and a lot more like George Oakley etc and I think they I think they will be the side that gets relegated this season to be honest sorry if you're a Hamilton fan and Motherwell I've got a quite I've got a good liking for Motherwell Motherwell are close to my heart um, get on with it I get along well with the Well boys and um I think that Motherwell will turn this game around this afternoon. Hopefully they get a good performance at Firth Park and they do well this afternoon and bang in a few goals. I will be keeping my eye on that score this afternoon. That's the game of the day for me. And I think they've got Stephen O'Donnell. They lost Mark Gillespie. They think Stephen O'Donnell on a free contract after he got released from Kilmarnock at the end of last season. They have lost Mark Gillespie to Newcastle. They're, they're now using Trevor Carson. They've got Long. They've got Tony Watt. They've got a few good say, good players on that team. They've got William Polworth, etc. And I think this afternoon it'll be Motherwell 2, Hamilton won and I think for Hamilton the goal scorer this afternoon for them will be either David Templeton or Mario Sagompo. Later on this afternoon we have a half past five at Tana Dice. It is a big encounter for the newly the newly promoted Dundee United, Mickey Mellon's Tangerine side versus the champions of last season, the our Glasgow rivals, the B team of Glasgow. Celtic, Celtic, Celtic are travelling up to Dundee this afternoon to face Dundee United at Tannadice, and I will be supporting Dundee United this afternoon to do a, to turn over Celtic, hopefully to do a favour for Rangers and our fans. Um, and this afternoon, Dundee United have got a good side, and we'll see how that goes. I will be doing a pre-match thought an after-match thought on that game as it's live on TV and I will be watching that. Um, I've also heard a rumour about fans apparently going to be allowed back on limited numbers next weekend and that will be in the match between Celtic and Motherwell and depending on how that goes we will, we will try and get more and more fans back into the stadium once again um, and also yeah guys that's what I've that's what I've read this afternoon and we will see what happens this afternoon we will do a pretty much thought on all the games tonight once I've watched the Mount back on sports scene I'll do a quick 
pretty much thought and what I thought of all the games and there will be a pre-match and after-match thought of the Dundee United versus Hamilton game. Sorry guys that I haven't been active over the last couple of days, I've been having job interviews etc and yeah we'll be make, we, we will be making more content and I've got a few ideas of content to come, hopefully get a few ex-professional footballers uh, etc and managers on my YouTube channel and I will be interviewing them one to one, hopefully I'll get stuff like that sorted out and take you guys around a lot more football stadiums around Scotland so yeah guys me being myself Connor Kilter this being my YouTube channel the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast you've been yourself the loyal faithful subscribers and this is Saturday afternoon let's get let's get to the action of all the matches around Scotland this afternoon and you know what to do guys, like and comment, tell me, like and comment, subscribe if you're new, and I am out.